Rish Sunak ndio waziri mkuu mpya wa Uingereza aliyeshinda kinyang'anyiro hicho kufuatia Liz Truss aliyedumu katika wadhifa huo kwa siku ya 44 pekee kujiuzulu baada ya mpango wake ulolenga kufufua uchumi kusababisha mtikisiko kwenye masoko ya kifedha. I recognize though given the situation I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. So Naka mepitisho kwa waziri mkua uingereza baada walo tarajua kwa shinani waki waku Boris Johnson kujiengua kwenye mchakato wachaguzi na Pen Madaut ele shindo kufikisha wajumbe miya moja kutoka chama cha conservative ili kugombea. So Naka mwenye umro miya karubaini na mbili anakuwa mwana siyasa mwenye umro mdogo zaidi kwe kushika wadhifa huo nchini uingereza katika zaidi ya miya kamiya mbili lopita. Lakini pia ndio kiongozi wa kwanza wa taifa hilo ambaya asili yake siyo mzungu na ni muumini wa dine kihindu. Tukizungumzia asili ya kiongozi huyu alizaliwa katika mji wa Southampton Uingereza Mei 12 mwaka 1980 ambapo baba yake alizaliwa nchini Kenya na mama yake alizaliwa Tanganyika sasa Tanzania na mnamo mwaka 1966 familia hiyo ilihamia nchini Uingereza Rish Sunak ni msomi mwenye shahada ya kwanza katika falsafa, siasa na uchumi kutoka chuo kikuu cha Oxford na shahada ya umahiri katika usimamizi wa biashara kutoka chuo kikuu cha Stanford nchini Marekani. Sunak ambaye ni waziri wa zamani wa fedha alijuzulu baada ya kukata uongozi wa aliyekuwa waziri mkuu Boris Johnson anakabiliwa na jukumu la kurejesha utulivu katika taifa hilo linalokabiliana na machafuko ya kisiasa na kiuchumi kwa miaka kadhaa huku yeye akiahidi kuliongoza kwa uadilifu na unyenyekevu akisema nchi inahitaji utulivu na umoja. This government will have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. Licha ya ushindi huo kupokelewa kwa kishindo swali linakuja. Je, Suna katafanikiwa kumudu nafasi hiyo na kuhakikisha uchumi unasimama? Ukizingatia kwamba ameingia madarakani nchi ikiwa katika hali mbaya kiuchumi wakati pao ni ikiwa imeshuka. Swali lingine ni je, nini hasa kinamtofautisha Suna na viongozi wengine watatu ambao wamejiuzulu nafasi hiyo ndani ya mwaka mmoja ambao ni Theresa May, Boris Johnson na Liz Truss? So I am today announcing that I will resign as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party on Friday the 7th of June so that a successor can be chosen. I've agreed with the party chairman and with the chairman of the 1922 committee that the process for electing a new leader should begin in the following week. I have kept Her Majesty the Queen fully informed of my intentions and I will continue to serve as her Prime Minister until the process has concluded. It is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. And I've agreed with Sir Graham Brady, the chairman of our backbench MPs, that the process of choosing that new leader should begin now. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Inaonyesha wazi kwa Suna kana kabila na changamoto nyingi kiwe mkuganyika kwa chama chake ambacho pia kimezidi kupoteza umaarufu katika miezi minne iliyopita kufuatia misuko suku ya kisiasa. Mtazamaji wa Mwananchi Digital, kulingana na historia nafasi hii ambayo katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja viongozi watatu wamejiuzulu. Mtazamo wako ni nini? Unafikiri kinapaswa kufanyika nini kurudisha imani kwa raia wa nchi hiyo hasa linapokuja suala la uchumi? Na je, Suna kanataka kufanya nini kuhakikisha anachukilia nafasi yake hiyo na kujenga imani licha ya umri wake kwa mdogo ikilinganisha na watangulizi wake